guys, in today's video I'm going to be doing a slime cafe. This is so much fun, I've been watching loads of cafe vlogs recently so I hope that you enjoyed this video and if you do don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe. One of my favourite things to order from cafes are the really satisfying gradient drinks and typically these are done with syrup but obviously because we're dealing with slime I decided to do this with some clear slime. I made it quite bubbly so I could let it sit for a few days and with the bubbles rising it would merge the colours slightly where they met in the middle and then once it had sat it all cleared up and it also just turn into the most magical array of colours. I absolutely loved how this looked. If I were to order this in person I could definitely imagine this being like a tropical fruit twist type of thing. It's definitely a fruity drink. you guys but I always have to order food if I'm ordering a drink at a cafe so this one I decided to do a pancake and this is really fun I did a clay sculpt with a pancake and then some blueberries and some butter on top and then we also have some syrup in the form of clear slime and I absolutely love how this trickles down the side of the slime and this was so satisfying Hot chocolate pods with all the rage back in December and I was going to make one then but I saw quite a few people doing it so I kind of let it sit for a bit and then I decided I did in fact want to make one. So I started off by just putting some coloured glue in there and adding all my ingredients inside then I covered that with some clay and then some more chocolate and this actually ended up looking like a professor roll in my opinion so I ended up topping it with some more toppings so you could tell that it was a hot chocolate pod and this was really really cute. It was also just really nice because once it dried it didn't like get all over your fingers and then I put some chocolate on the bottom of the cup because what is a hot chocolate without extra chocolate? And I tried to pour it out of a tea thing but because the glue was too thick it didn't work so I had to add some um, butter slime in there. Topped it with some more toppings and then topped it with the clay ball itself. trip to Florida booked last year and one of the things I really wanted to do was try lots of Disney food and I made a list of everything I wanted to try but obviously I couldn't go so what I did was I recreated some of them today in this video and the first one is Dole Whip. This is really nice, it has like a slush pineapple base and then on the top it has like an ice cream, I think it's like a sorbet but it looks more like an ice cream. To decorate it I added a little umbrella that people add into drinks, I added a clay sculpt of a cherry and also a reusable straw.
movies of all time has to be Ratatouille, so I really wanted to create the signature dish of the movie that Remy always makes. Because these clay pieces are made out of clay, obviously if I just put it on its side like it's made in the movie, it would instantly fall over. So I decided to top it up whilst it was standing, and then once it was down, just kind of swirl some bits so it looked like it was made on the plate, and then on the top I just did it in a diagonal. The bit around it is all slime, and then I decided to add some little leaves as well as some basil surrounding it. I also decided to just put a tiny bit more slime around the base of it because I think I saw it in a photo so I decided to add some and I was really happy with how this turned out. Disney is known for how iconic the dishes are for desserts. I decided to do some Mickey waffles, a little clay sculpt of an ice cream and lots of syrup on top and then topped it with some sprinkles. I saw this really satisfying video on TikTok from a user called Vina Drip Coffee and basically what they did was put some food dye on the bottom, then some ice cubes on top and then the ice cubes held the food dye in suspension so it mixed more slowly and it was just so stunning. So I recreated that and I went on to create some boba. These are some really nice boba bits that my friend sent me and then I just put some slime on top of it and yeah, I was really happy with how this turned out. This one was such a fail and I'm gonna recreate it and I'm gonna do it better, I promise you. But basically what I was trying to do was do one of the really cool gradient coffees that are all over all of the internet at the moment and I could not do it. For some reason I changed the angle and it went out of focus, but it ended up making a really nice glossy chocolate-like slime. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making it and I will see you very soon. Bye!